right now some inspiring high school auto technicians showing off their skills and they're competing for a really big prize. Irene is at the East Valley Institute of Technology in Mesa. Irene, this is a skill that I think so many people maybe have forgotten about, right? Because there's so many different fields that people are interested in, but this is a skill that is oh so necessary. Well, Anita, that's right. Yeah, I couldn't change a flat tire or do anything with cars to save my life. So I'm really impressed by all the kids here today. But I was speaking to one of the women here, too, and she was saying that a lot of these kids in high school, they have, you know, sport competitions, uh, all those other kind of things. But this is a chance for the kids who are good with cars, good with engineering, to be able to, uh, to be able to have a competition for them as well. So I'm here with John. You're with Santan Ford. You donated some of these cars, and you mess with them a little bit, right, so that the kids will have something they'll have to figure out? Oh, yeah. We put some fancy <laughs> tricks in this thing so they can try to diagnose them. We got four vehicles here. We got Ford Motor Company. We got all kinds of dealerships throughout the valley. It's a great way for these kids to kind of learn and we can really see what kind of talent we have coming out of the school. It's absolutely fantastic. And what kind of cars are they? We got uh, Ford, Ford Escapes and Ford Edges here. And um, we, uh, we basically take an electronical component and we uh, put a little bug in it and they got to try to figure out what it is. That's awesome. And I mean, have you ever done this with them before? Or is this something new? This is our first time. This is our first EVIT Skills Challenge. Uh, we're really excited. EVIT's been a great uh, sponsor for dealerships and bringing technicians into our field. So it's, we're absolutely excited about it. All right. And we're going to talk to some of the instructors here as well. Do you want to talk next? Talk about the, uh, about the competition. So what is going to go down today? I know it was supposed to start at 9. You kind of held it up a little bit for us so you could talk yeah, with us. Right. What's going to go on here? Uh, well, here um, we have 10 different stations set up, and they're all challenging the students. Uh, and uh, and what they've learned up to this point, getting them really aligned with the industry to see um, if, if they can get do the stuff the industry expects. Here we have some boards that are donated by Subaru for this competition, and what they do is they have to connect the electrical circuits and uh, um, develop certain things. I can't say too much because somebody might be watching. They're going to text information back home. We don't want that to happen. But uh, they have to make these lights light up, and they, we've um, we've made them a little challenging. It's not. It's not just a simple plug and play, uh, and then we got four judges going to be judging them, making sure that they do right. The goal is to uh, to light up the light bulb in this uh, in this station. And is this something that these high school students? I mean, they're picked from across the East Valley, correct? So I mean, they're like the best in in this yeah. kind of field. Yeah, it, it's not just even. We invited over a, a thousand students. They ought to test in, take a test to get here, and uh, the, we we picked the uh, um, 62 number one or the 62 top students, and and that's who's going to be competing today. That's great, and I think that you're, you're one of the instructors as well, correct, to talk yeah. with us about, about the event and how important it is that there is an outlet for some of these students interested in this field. Yes, it's been re really important. What we are trying to do is recruit, and then we train them here, and then we place them in industry. Here they'll be working, again, here the Subaru engine, that they'll be doing mechanical skills that they learn, so it prepares them for their entry level. So uh, our industry partners are critical, and then we've been reaching down even farther into sixth grade. We've got... Cub Scouts, Girl Scouts that are starting entering in. Our field is gone highly electronic. It's uh, it's not the old days anymore where you beat things up with a hammer and a screwdriver. So they'll be challenged out throughout the day. So at the 10 different stations from audio to engines to computer bugs, everything else. So um, we're very excited to have you here and have uh, all these fine students here. Yeah, we're excited to be here and good skills to have even if they don't go into this field in general, oh, right? Definitely. That's for sure. That is for sure. We have no number of them uh, that are going on continuing in engineering next year at ASU. Some are uh, going there in that field. And this week we just had job shattering. We had over 300 students go out and just walk behind industry uh, the, the dealerships and see what it takes to make the dealership operate. Well, that's great. We'll be back out here in another half an hour or so with more from this competition once it actually kicks off. And the prize today is over five hundred or five thousand dollars. Sorry, not five hundred thousand. Five thousand dollars for these students here. Five thousand five hundred dollars for the different competitions today. We'll have much more, as I said later. For now, we'll send it back to you, Anita. Pretty impressive. Thanks, Irene. Hey, good morning, everyone. 941. Irene is still out in Mesa. They're having an auto competition for high schoolers there and also a Pinewood Derby. Irene, like the good old fashioned little box derbies or bigger and better? 
well, yeah, they are pretty small little cars. You can take a look at what they look like here. They are these small little cars. Some of them are pretty unique, too. This one, uh, I think you said it has LED lights at the bottom. Then there was one over here. I'm rooting for this one because it's Hershey's, like a Hershey's chocolate bar. And I'm from Pennsylvania, so I got to root for that one. Um, so I know that you can talk to us a little bit about, I mean, what, take, what goes into making these cars. Uh, and this is the Pinewood Derby. I know they're going to be competing very shortly. Yeah, if, if for this uh, for this event we have first, second, third places, and uh, the subwoofers that you just saw right there. It all starts with this. It all starts with a simple block of wood, and you gotta uh, try to keep it under five ounces. And uh, we have a couple of categories to see who wins the race, and also one to see who has the, the best in show. So uh, we're, we're we're looking for the fastest car, and there's a lot of physics that goes behind this. So where you place the weight, uh, the way you shape it, the way you design it, all that has to play. So there's a lot of. Uh, a lot of fixes that go on behind this. So we got the Chapman Auto Group donated all this for us so we can um, have students get uh, more involved. We use it for a tool for recruiting. We use this to get more, uh, more students excited in the automotive industry and uh, for future engineers as well. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. I mean, based on like size, I see some of them are a little bit taller, some of them are a little bit shorter. Like what is recommended to make them really go fast? Oh man, there really is no uh, science to it. It's all trial and error, and and that's that's the beauty of it. Sometimes you'll you'll create um, a car and it's not as fast. So you'll have to place the weight somewhere else. You have to design it a little bit different. So this is something that uh, a lot of students are very interested in. It takes a lot of work. Something that unites uh, uh, father and son, uh, daughter and mother, that kind of thing. And uh, it's it's just fun. It's what so we're bringing it to the school, and uh, and uh, we hope to do this uh, a lot more often. Like larger scale Hot Wheels is what I'm looking at. I'm like, yeah, oh, I remember yeah, my bro yeah, little brother playing with them growing up. And I know you said that you sponsor uh, this event. And just tell me, you use this as a recruiting grounds for student, for people to come work, right? Yep, we sponsor the event. We do some job shadowing through EVIT. We've been paired with them for quite a while now. It uh, gives us a, an opportunity to meet and build a nice, strong relationship for the future technicians in the city. Perfect. And then I think John is the one that's yep. over here. You're going to tell us more about the track is over here. Uh, so, hi, how are you doing again, John? I know we spoke with you a little bit earlier, so you're really involved with the whole Pinewood Derby thing. Tell me what you like about it, what goes into it every year. Well, it's just that the kids have an opportunity just to, you know, work with their hands on a car, get that feel, and introduce them to, you know, things that we love to do. And there's a lot of physics, I don't know if Mr. Moto was talking about that, of how to make the car go faster. And we've got a couple of the cars staged and ready to go if you want to capture that one going down the track. Are you ready? Three, two... One, go! Which one's gonna win? Which one's gonna win? Which one won? I couldn't even tell. Lane, lane two, <laughs> number one, so electronic. Oh, yeah. It out. There's first, I was second, <laughs> third, and fourth. I was trying to literally look at where the car is, but I'm like, oh, that's easy. There's a score right there, thing right yeah, there. So it's, that's yeah, perfect. All electronically controlled. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. What do you enjoy about this the most? You do this with your kids too? Uh, right over there, I got my second generation. There's my grandkids over there. They're taking part of it. So we got grandpas, parents, and grandkids all taking part of it. It's a great family event. And I saw you, some of your students coming by too earlier, just recognizing you, some of your former students. Yeah. You mentioned to me off camera that makes it really rewarding for you. Oh, that is the entire you know reason for being here, making a difference in a young person's life, uh, seeing that, that you make an impact. And uh, they're our future, and we I love investing in them and making better days ahead for all of us. And you've seen a lot of your students go on to uh, to do really great things. Oh, yeah. they've Some of them gone to dealers, some of them continue their education. I've, I just had two young men, they signed up for the Marines last Last week, uh, they felt with everything going on in the world, they did that. So, uh, continuing education, military services, or they can go right into industry and go to work. So, All right. and I know that this hasn't officially started yet. How soon until we start? About one hour from now. About one hour? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so if people want to come and check it out. Oh yeah. We'll they still got some time. Yes. Going about ten thirty. Yep. And the car show out front and tech force out here. So many things going on. So thank you. <laughs> That's great. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to take a look at that and have some footage of that for you guys later. Right now, I'll send it back to you, Anita. Irene, that race was so fun. Yeah, it does look fun. I was kind of hoping I would get to pull the trigger over there. I'm like, ah, oh, I didn't get to pull it. You did it before me. Maybe off camera, <laughs> they'll let you. You can post it on Maybe social. Maybe off camera, I'll try it next time. For the actual race, yeah, then if someone loses, it's all my fault. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Always pass the blame, right? Thanks, Irene. Great job today. Right, that's what you have to do. Okay. Thanks, Anita.